Peter Egg Inc. presents Card Through Window. Now, we want you to watch this moment very carefully. Look as he approaches the door. Do you notice that on that door, there is a sticker above a black box? Notice the sticker is above the black box and you can't really see anything to the left of the black box or the sticker. Now, as Peter walks forward, notice there's a jump cut. And then when he does the card through window, the card appears to the left of the black box. And there was nothing above that black box when you looked at the door earlier on. Hence the jump cut. The gimmick is off screen just above the line of the camera. But because of the jump cut, you're made to believe that this is the same door that he walked up to. In reality, what's happening here is during that jump cut, they stuck the gimmick on the window and positioned it just above the camera line to make this look better than it actually is. This is the absolute definition of a dishonest trailer designed to try and make you part with 200 pounds for something that is completely impractical, something that you're never going to be able to set up. Peter tells us that the, the way that you can do this is by using a Wi-Fi sticker and putting a Wi-Fi sticker on a window. Where are you going to be able to do that? Look at this. He's doing it at a bus stop outside in the middle of the day. He's making you believe that this can be done on any window with no restrictions. This couldn't be done on a, on a, on a bus stop. What are you going to do? Walk up to the bus stop and stick a sticker on the window? and then stick the gimmick behind it. What about the people that are inside the bus stop? He's used this to make it feel like you can do it on any window, but once again, the gimmick is positioned just above the line of the camera. And the cars are going past and people are walking past, making you believe that this can be done anytime, anywhere. Even in the next shot, you're going to see him doing it on a restaurant's window shooting the cards against the window and having it appear inside the window in the restaurant. That would never work. In order for this to happen, the gimmick would have to be positioned behind the yellow logo. And every single diner in that restaurant will see exactly what's going on. This is a completely dishonest fabrication and a perfect example of why Peter Egging is one of the dodgiest creators in magic. He comes up with half-assed, half-baked routines that are completely impractical and then use dishonest selling techniques and bullshit trailers to try and get people to buy his overpriced crap. If you are watching this, do not buy this trick. The only thing that it's good for is practicing how hard you can hit a crappy little plastic box with a hammer. And trust me, from experience, it's quite hard. Don't buy this. Please don't buy this. Don't be suckered in by the dishonest trailer. Instead, watch the reviews and understand that this is completely impractical.